Hi, welcome to story time. Let's talk about insects. What are insects? How do I know what they look like? Well, let's talk about it. This is the basic shape of an insect. They tend to be small. Some of them can be big, but usually they're pretty small. Um, they have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you see something with eight legs, it's not an insect. If it has a hundred legs, it's not an insect. We'll talk about those animals another time. Insects also have two antennas, one, two, and they have three main body parts. They have a head, a thorax, that's kind of their chest part, and they have an abdomen, that's kind of their bottom part. Um, they hatch from eggs, and they have their skeletons on the outside. Your skeleton's on the inside, right? Yeah, good. Well, an insect has their skeleton on the outside. That helps protect them from things that want to eat them. So, like I said, insects are everywhere. And there's a lot that you probably already know. I'm going to show you some pictures of some and see if you can know what they are. Okay. Yep, that one's a grasshopper. Let's see the next one. You got it, it that's a bee. And an ant, good job, you're really good at this. A ladybug, yep, yep. A fly, good job. And this next one you may not have seen in your backyard, but you might have. Yeah, it's a praying mantis. Good job. Good job. This book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The author is Eric Carl. He wrote the words and he also did the beautiful pictures. And this, this is one of my favorite stories. So I'm really excited to share it with you. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. See the tiny egg right there? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. See the little caterpillar? He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums. Yep, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges but he was still hungry. Oh goodness. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Look at his face. He doesn't look like he feels very well. That night, he had a stomach ache. I'm not surprised after he ate all that food. Wouldn't you have a stomach ache too? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better.
Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he was not a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Look how fat he got. He's huge. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and wonder what happened. What was he doing in there for two weeks? That's a long time. I wonder what, oh my goodness. He was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is such a good story. He was a little egg and then he hatched out as a caterpillar. He ate and he ate and he ate. And then he made a cocoon around himself and he grew into a butterfly. If you enjoyed today's story and you really want to learn some more about insects, I've put some links in the description of the video um, so you can find some websites to learn some new things. And also, you can go in your yard and look around and see what kind of insects live by you. So thanks again for letting me read to you. I really had a good time and I will see you next time. Bye.